Okay guys, this is the video for lesson 4.1 for eighth period only. So if you're not in eighth period, you don't need to be watching this. All right, so if you were absent last class, you missed us going over this section. So in order to catch up with this section, you will have to watch the beginning of the um, 4.1 video for the other classes because it goes over this part. All right, so here we go. So checking solutions. We want to know if a certain ordered pair is a solution to a specific equation. So basically what that's saying is, is if I substitute in these numbers from these ordered pairs into the equation that I'm given, will it make the equation true? And all that means is, is does the left side equal the right side? If it does, it's true. If it doesn't, it's not true. Okay. So one thing you've got to remember when we're checking solutions um, is when you've got an ordered pair, when you're given an ordered pair like this one right here, the first number is always an X and the second number is always a Y. That never changes. The first one's always X, the second one is always Y. You'll notice in our equation that we're given here, we have an Y and an X in there. And what we're going to do basically is just put these numbers in place of here. Okay, so these are the steps on how to do this. So using the given equation, so this is our given equation in this example, and an ordered pair. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do both these ordered pairs, but we're gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna do this ordered pair right here, the negative two, negative five ordered pair. What we wanna do is plug in the x value for x. And all that means is you're gonna wanna write this down right here. You're plugging in the x value from the ordered pair for the x in the equation. So we're gonna take this x right here and we're gonna substitute it for this x over here. So we're taking this two and we're putting it right here in place of x right there. Okay, and then we're gonna take the y value from the ordered pair and place it into the y in the equation. So we're gonna take this value right here, this negative five, which rep is represented, which is our y, and we're gonna put it right here, which is y in the equation. So when we redo this, we won't have any variables, we'll have all numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, this y is now gonna be negative five. I'll do it in the color so you can see, negative five. And then equals one fourth. Now, when one fourth or any number has a variable attached to it, like this one does right here, um, it's right there next to it, butted up next to it, it means multiplication. So we're going to multiply it by whatever x is, and x is negative two. And then we have to continue with the equation, so minus four. Okay, so all I did was take this negative two and bring it over here and put it in for x. And then I took this negative five and I put it over here for y. That's all I did so far, okay? Once I've done that, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually solve the equation. And all that means is do the math, okay? So on this left side right here, I have nothing to do. It's just negative five. So we're just gonna leave it negative five. Now on the right side, I've got some math to do, and you can just do this whole thing in your calculator, okay? So I'm gonna do, hopefully you can see that, one fourth times negative two, oops, sorry, I forgot to take it out of the, so one fourth times negative two, parentheses, you can use parentheses or the multiplication symbol, minus four. And I'm gonna hit enter, and it's going to do all the math for me. And you can see that I get negative nine halves. So on this side over here, this all of this stuff equals negative nine halves. Okay, so now the third and final step is if the equation comes out equal on both sides, if they're the same number on both sides of the equal sign, then it is a solution, okay? If the equation comes out unequal, meaning they're different numbers, like this one is, they're different numbers, they don't equal each other because five, negative five is not the same as negative nine halves, then the ordered pair is not a solution, okay? So now let's try this ordered pair right here and see what we get. 
So again, I'm going to take, again, this is x, y. The first number is x, the second number is y. So I'm going to take this x and plug it in here for x, and then I'm going to take this y and plug it in for y. Now instead, we're just using, we're just doing a different ordered pair now. So I'll do that one down here because I'm kind of out of room up here. So y is now negative 3 equals 1 fourth times, and x is 4, and then minus 4 still. Okay. So now let's see if the equation is equal on both sides, if they're equal to each other. So again, this left side, there's no math to do. We just rewrite negative 3. Okay, and then on this one right here, I'm just going to do it in my calculator again. So 1 fourth times 4 minus 4. I'm going to hit enter, and I get negative 3. So the fact that negative 3 equals negative 3 means that this is a solution. So yes. Oh, sorry, this one was no. I forgot to put no on there. Now, let me explain to you guys what that means. All this means is, is that if I was to graph this equation like we've learned how to do in Unit 3 and we practiced last class period, if I was to graph it on a coordinate plane, the, solu the ordered pair that is a solution will fall on the graphed line. The one that's not a solution will not be on the graphed line. So let's graph this. Well, I'll graph it. You just watch. So my y-intercept is negative 4, and my slope is 1 fourth. It's kind of messy. You kind of see, can't see it under my marker, but it is. So we're going to start at negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. And then I'm going to go up 1, right 4. Up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Up one, one, two, three, four. Okay, here's my line. And like I said, the one, this ordered pair right here that we said was not a solution will not be on this graphed line. Okay, it's going to fall somewhere other than on the line. But this one, the one that we said was yes, it will be on the line if we did everything correctly. So let's see. So if I go over 4 and down 3, so over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 3, 1, 2, 3, you can see that that's the one right there on the line. That's the point 4, negative 3. Okay? So it is on the line. That's why it is a solution. This point, negative 2, negative 5, so that means back to the left 2 and down 5. Back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's really close to being on the line, but it does not actually intersect with the line. That's why it's not a solution. Okay, that's all we're checking. That's all this whole thing is, is just double checking to make sure that the point either is or is not a solution. Basically, it does it or does it not fall on the line? That's all we want to know. All right, so let's do some practice ones. So I'm going to do these ones on the left side, and you're going to do these ones on the right side, and then you'll enter your answers into a quick check on Canvas. So what you're going to do is remember that this is x and this is y. Okay, and then we're going to substitute it into these two equations and see if it is a solution or is it not. So y equals 1 half x. So instead of y, I'm going to put in 3, and then 1 half times x is 6. Okay. So again, this side, there's nothing to do over here. So 3 equals. And then 1 half times 6 is the same as half of 6, which is 3. You can do that in your calculator if you need to. And so since 3 equals 3, this is a solution. Okay, we're going to do the same point with a different equation now. So the same point, 6, 3, into this equation. So y is 3. Now pay attention because you can see here that x is positive, but right here there's a negative sign. So this is like saying it's negative 1 times x, and that negative 1 needs to stay there. So I'm going to write the negative, and then I'm going to put in whatever x equals. So in this case, 6, and then add 3. So this side stays the same, 3 equals. 
and then negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So these two do not equal each other, so this is not a solution. Okay. Next one. So we're going to do this point into these two equations. Again, first number is x, second number is y. Okay, so instead of y, I'm going to put in 5. So 5 equals negative 2 times x is 6. So put a 6 in there, and then plus 2. So the 5 stays because there's nothing to do, you need no math to do there. And then negative 6 times or sorry, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, and negative 12 plus 2 makes it 5 is not equal to negative 10. Okay, last one. This is a good one to show you guys because this one's a little different. Notice how x and y are on the same side of the equal sign. That's fine. We don't have to do any work to it. All we're going to do is still substitute the numbers in, and we're still going to see if the left side equals the right side. So obviously on the right side, we're not going to do anything to it because there's no math to do. There's no substitution to do. So we've got negative 2 thirds times an x is 6, and then plus y, which is 5. And then the left side is 1, or the right side, sorry. So this side is going to stay 1. We're not going to do any work there. Here I'm going to use my calculator. So negative 2 thirds times 6, oops, I forgot the time sign in there, times 6 plus 5. I'm going to hit enter and I get 1. So 1 equals 1, so, oh, I forgot to write a note up here. So this one is a solution. Okay, so when you go onto Canvas to do these ones, what you're going to do is you're going to check yes or no, or you're going to, you're going to type in yes or no, like, for example, if we were putting this one on the computer, it's going to say, is this point a solution to this equation? And you would type in yes, and then it's going to have two empty boxes with an equal sign in the middle, and you're going to write what you came up with, type what you came up with down here. So you would type in three and then another three if you were doing this one, but you won't be doing this one. Okay. So not only do I need a yes or a no, but I also need what each side equaled on Canvas. All right, and then you have a worksheet to do on Canvas also. It's worksheet 4.1, checking solutions. All right, guys, I will see you on Tuesday of next week. Thanks.